Well, I think I think we need to even go back further uh, to the Billings game last Tuesday. It was kind of a rare Tuesday game for uh, the history of UAA basketball. We don't play a whole lot of those, um, and um, it was a good win uh, after playing on Thursday and Saturday the week before, and then coming and playing on Tuesday without a lot of, not a lot of preparation. Uh, Coach Stevens does a great job for us to to, to get a relatively comfortable win. Um, uh, was nice. Uh, then we were able to focus the rest of the week on uh, on Fairbanks and um, went up the day of the game. Had some good practices before that. Went up the day of the game, and uh, uh, they had their best crowd I think in in a long time. Um, but our guys were focused, and and uh, we withstood their run early. We uh, we actually took the lead. And we're we're playing really well, and and then. Um, we missed uh, some open shots. It wasn't like we stopped executing or turned it over. We just we, we had some open looks that didn't go down, uh, and, and they had a couple guys make shots that uh, don't normally make those shots, and uh, all of a sudden we're behind. But uh, like this group has all year, they, they remained resilient, and uh, uh, we found a way. And I, I think that when you have committed athletes who who try to do things the right way, um, that's when you're able to to do those things. Uh, not only do these guys come to practice. At a regular practice time, but but guys like Spencer and Suki and Brian and Deontay and Christian, you know, I can name a bunch of them. They're they're usually there early, also. You know, um, whether we were practicing at 8:30 and they got there at 7:30, or like today at 12:45, they didn't have class. We had a bunch there at 11:45 getting shots. Um, very dedicated group and, uh, and, and fun to coach. And, and uh, looking forward to the last uh, 12 games that we have and see where we can end up. But, uh, We'll start out Thursday with a, a very good Western Oregon team. That's the one we'll concentrate on, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll give we'll give them all the respect they deserve. But uh, I, I think that uh, as we've shown, we'll put a good performance together, and hopefully that's enough to get us a win. Rusty, is this commitment that, that you talked about? I guess maybe the biggest difference that you've seen from last year's team. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, you know, we we, we really uh, try to identify that in the recruiting process. And um, I think that Coach Turner and the Coach Mollestrom at the time um, really identified some guys that uh, uh, we're going to change the the culture around here. And uh, you know, all you got to do is get a few uh, pulling other people in, and then uh, have some success, and it kind of builds on each other. And uh, you know, you got a guy like Damian Fulp who hasn't played a whole lot, but our last two home games, you know, after the crowds have gone and after you guys have gone home and. And people have showered. He, he's had that shooting gun out there. Uh, and he shot for 45 minutes or an hour after the game, you know, trying to get his reps in and, and, and be ready uh, when uh, when his time comes. And, you know, you, game of basketball or sports in general, injuries happen or something could happen. And guys got to be ready. And, and just really proud of Damian and Drew Peterson and those guys uh, preparing themselves um, and staying positive. And, and, uh, Again, I think that's the change in the culture in the program. Instead of guys worrying about playing and, and when they're going to play and, and, and just showing up, uh, we've got guys who are willing to put in and pay the price. And, and uh, when you do that, I think good things happen for you. Coach, what are your expectations for Thursday? Well, our expectations are, like always, we're going to try and uh, play as well as we possibly can. Again, we, we will scout the opponent and, and we'll make some adjustments to, to whatever we do offensively and defensively to try and uh, counteract some of their defensive and offensive strengths. But we're not going to do a whole lot differently. Um, uh, we're just going to try and play well. I think we're, we're, we're in the type of season right, right now that uh, it, it, it's all a maintenance and uh, trying to keep these guys as fresh as possible. We really cut down the practice time that we go. Um, you know, we may introduce uh, you know, a concept uh, every week or 10 days, uh, whereas earlier we were introducing things all the time. Now it's just kind of cleaning things up and getting better at it and, uh, and, and try to maintain um, their conditioning. At the same time, uh, don't over fatigue them. And um, you know, we, we had an hour and 15 minute practice today. I thought we got a lot accomplished in that time. And, and we'll come back tomorrow, uh, day before the game, maybe go a little bit longer. Um, we eliminated shoot arounds on the day of game, try and help them a little bit. And uh, so I, I expect that this group will come out and compete. But it's college basketball, and we're playing a really good team. And you can start looking at the papers from this weekend or last night or tonight. You're going to see really good basketball teams go and play really good games and end up on the wrong end of it. <laughs> you know, as, 
Duke lost to Syracuse, but four points, I, I, they played pretty well. But so, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. And uh, uh, we're just going to focus on this game, try and play as well as we can, and, and, uh, and hopefully that we'll make shots and keep them from making shots. All right, Spencer, how do you feel about the status of the team, how you guys are performing right now? Do you feel confident that you guys can take down on each at the moment? Oh, definitely. I mean, I think everybody out there has that opinion that, and that's something that you should have if you you know you think you're a good team so I definitely do just like coach said going to every game you know like it's the same no opponents you know better than the other or worse than the other we just take it one game at a time and you know I think it's the mentality mostly how you go through the season you know teams can think they're good but they overlook an opponent you know those are the games that trip you up so we can't you know underestimate or overestimate anybody we just got to go in uh, know that we prepared well that week for practice no that you know we can go in there and beat anybody home or away. So yeah, it's definitely just a mentality thing. Do you have any extra emotions playing a ring team at their home gym? Uh, me personally, I I don't just because I've I guess I've not, I've never played there before. I can't speak for everybody, but like I said, the whole the whole team I don't, I think we're pretty pretty well grounded. I think that's what a lot of the, lot, uh, excuse me a lot of the success has come from is we've stayed grounded and you know going to Fairbanks you know. Obviously, an Alaska team, everybody was was up for that, but we just knew we had to go in there and execute and get it done. So that's kind of how we take every opponent, just go in there and execute what we practice and try and get a win.